Guys, it's ZD here, and I'm super excited to be going over something that I know will absolutely give you benefit, and it's about the law of attraction. How many of you have watched a documentary, watched The Secret, or some form of value before on the law of attraction? Now, the second question, how many of you have used it to manifest what you want? You know, so many people out there, maybe there's a few uh, different ways you could use this law of attraction, but most of the time, most people out there have manifested something in their life, even if they weren't intentionally trying to manifest it. Maybe they've just worried about something over and over again, and all of a sudden they created the worry. You know, I always say worrying is praying or using the law of attraction in the wrong way. You know, worrying is praying for what you don't want. And all of a sudden you're sending massive energy towards what you don't want and all of a sudden you'll attract it. You know, I don't want to attract my ex. I don't want to attract my ex. And you attract the exact same person that is the model version of your ex. You know, this is crazy what we do, but most of the time we learn these basics around the law of attraction. I love the law of attraction coaches out there. A lot of them are broke. If they really knew about the law of attraction, wouldn't you think they would be successful financially? Because this is the way to manifest and attract anything you want in your life. So I'm gonna give you a breakdown on what I believe is the number one reason why most law of attraction coaches fail and also why most law of attraction advice doesn't freaking work. And they don't tell you about the time delay. What the secret taught you is don't take action. They didn't even say take action on there, which is ridiculous. They said, visualize what you want, close your eyes, and all of a sudden, over a period of time, manifestation will happen. That doesn't happen. You know, if we really just close our eyes and visualize what we want and everything just went our way, wouldn't it be lovely? But that's not how it works. It's called a time delay principle. And it's what quantum physics uh, people say is called the quantum, which is metaphysical, to Newtonian. Newtonian means physical. Quantum to Newtonian transition point. What is the quantum to Newtonian transition point? We've got to look at those two worlds. We have a metaphysical world and a physical world. Look at the metaphysical world like a fast vibrational reality. It's an instantaneous reality, meaning I can be wherever I want to be instantaneously. Close my eyes, I'm in Hawaii. Close my eyes, I'm in France. Close my eyes, I've got uh, 50 clients. Close my eyes, I've got 10 clients. Whatever it is for you, it's an instantaneous reality. You're not built by the laws to this world, which is the Newtonian laws, which is the physical world. Then we have this other world, which I just said, which is the physical world. It's a slow vibrational matter reality. If I close my eyes in the metaphysical, visualize I'm in Hawaii or visualize I'm in France, why is it when I open up my eyes, I'm not instantaneously there? Because I can visualize and buy in and train my mind that I'm there. But most people do the visualization, but they open up their eyes and realize my life is not what my visualization says. And then they dictate their life on what they see with the physical world. And it's like, why isn't things going my way? And people aren't patient enough to hold the image for a period of time. I'm saying to you right now, it's not an instantaneous thing for you, but it's an instantaneous thing when you hold the image inside your mind and feel it, but even when you open up your eyes, you've got to really live that life of what you want and take the actions required to manifest that life. So things, let's just say you're struggling coaching, you're wanting to get 10 one-on-one clients. Well, the first thing that you would do is step one, you would visualize what you wanted. What would that feel like? And you would go into the metaphysical, the fast vibrational world, and you'd visualize exactly what you want. You'd feel into it. You'd bathe your cells in it. And then that's step one. And then step two is open up your eyes and start living like that person right now. Even if for one week, two weeks, three weeks, or four weeks, things don't go your way in the physical world because the mirror doesn't show you that it's going your way, you still need to hold the image. It's like you need to celebrate every outcome, no matter what. It's like you need to be delusional in a way that this life inside your head is really, really happening right now, even though you're driving a certain car. Maybe it's a bomb of a car, but you need to buy into, I am driving that Mercedes. I am driving that Porsche, whatever it is for you. It's like you're buying into the reality. This is what I did when I wanted to attract my wife. I remember I was single at the time and I wrote down exactly what I wanted and I started visualizing. I did step one. When I opened up my eyes, I bought into the reality that she was already here. No one could tell me otherwise. Remember I had a boss at the time because I was working at a full-time job. He said, hey, can you stay back at work? And I said, no, I can't. He said, why? And he said, I'm hanging out with my girlfriend tonight. He's like, you don't have a girlfriend. I was delusional in my reality. So delusion is not bad if you're taking the actions, because I was still taking the actions, I was still going out on dates, I was still following through, but I was living like it had already happened and I'd celebrate every outcome. I'd go on a date, didn't work out, but I'd celebrate. 
I wasn't getting dictated by the mirror, the physical world. I was holding the image and I understood that there is a time delay principle going on. We don't get our thoughts straight away. Imagine that right now. If I visualize a monkey and a monkey just showed up straight away, I'd be overwhelmed. And then you visualize some anger towards someone and then you see that person and all of a sudden you're like, what the hell's going on? Every single thought came true, it'd be crazy. But that's why they call it the quantum to Newtonian transition point. It's a time delay principle. Whatever you hold in your head right now and take action on right now is going to happen over time. That's the law. If I just sit in my room right now and I visualize making more money and I don't do any actions, I don't follow through with anything, just like the secret says, it will not work. It won't work because you've got to use both worlds. You've got to use the metaphysical and hold the image, but then you've got to bring it into the physical, live like it's already happened internally, but then take the actions and not forced actions. Trusted, easing, flowing, desirable, flowingly, elegant actions. It shouldn't ever feel hard. This is what I talk about ease and grace. And I know a lot of people say out there, I was like, no, you need to work hard to become successful with everything. But you've got to really translate in your mind. It's not about working hard. It's not about forcing things. It's about enjoying the work that you're doing. It doesn't matter how hard you work. How hard you work is subjective. But if I enjoy myself right now with whatever I'm doing, it might be perceived by someone else that I'm working hard, but I'm not. I'm in enjoyment. And when you're in enjoyment, you have all the time in the world. And that's what I always say to people that lack time. They're like, I don't have any time for anything. It means you're in a low frequency. Because if you're in a high frequency, you have all the time in the world. There's no time in space. There's no time anywhere. If I'm enjoying myself right now, I'm in the moment. I'm not lacking time. I'm not thinking, oh my God, can I do this in time? I'm living in the present moment. And sometimes if you master that and you hold it, like I say, for a period of time, like this is all you need to hold it for, six to eight weeks. If I hold it there for six to eight weeks, anything, that is the quantum to Newtonian transition point. I say, give me eight weeks, of, eight weeks of your time, six to eight weeks of your time, and I can tell, I can change your finances. Give me six to eight weeks of your time, and I can change your relationship. Give me six to eight weeks, and I can change your business, the flow of the clients in your business. But you've got to understand that there's a time delay principle. You know, I love when my clients tell me, they're like, Zach, I'm on four weeks of my time delay principle. I'm still holding the image. I'm not getting dictated by the physical world. I know that person over time is going to have money. I know that person over time is going to have the relationship of their dreams because they understand this. But if I have six to eight weeks and I'm visualizing something for six to eight weeks and then I start manifesting it, don't stop then. You place something else and then you start living and doing the whole process. Step one, visualize. Step two, open up your eyes and live like it's already happened. Step three, take the actions required from an enjoyment place. Because work is subjective. I work so much more harder than you. Who cares about egotistic of who works harder? I work smarter and I enjoy the work that I do. Whether it's hard work to you or it's slow work to you, it doesn't matter. I'm living in my energy field of alignment. And when I do that, my business grows. I remember I was on a talk this morning. I was on this mastermind that I was on a retreat. I spoke at this retreat. I did about an hour segment um, on there. And I realized the one by one thing I said to everyone there, the number one thing that I can tell you and leave you with is frequency is the game in growing your business. If you want to play by the rules of the physical world and you want to force things and mold things and try to push, you know, rip people off or do whatever it is and try to get ahead, you're going to get ahead for a certain period of time, but usually you're going to go backwards because the universe is not going to reward you hustling. The universe is going to reward you by living in flow and enjoying. If you master that trait and you understand it's a frequency game, so you right now might work perceivingly harder than me from your subjective reality but I'm enjoying the game. I'm in a frequency. I know if I hold the image and I need to enjoy my life over a period of time, six to eight weeks, I'm going to start seeing evidence of my manifestation. I'm going to start seeing evidence of what I really want. And when you live by those principles, my friends, everything in your life changes. Guys, this is exactly what we teach. I'm telling you, I've got 400 plus success stories on exactly how I've transformed people's lives. I've got so many case studies coming on top of that, which is going to be so amazing. So guys, if you want to see some of them, comment below. Or even if you want to help, if you, even if you want a free call with me or one of my team, please reach out to us. We're so happy to help you on this. Because when you understand this, you'll never look at your business the same way. Also, we have an event coming up. If you want to kind of intro into my work, come to that event. I'm telling you, you'll be literally mind blown by that event. Guys, that's my message to you. Have an incredible day 
and I'll talk to you all very soon.